Hey everybody, welcome to another review. Uh, tonight I have some time, so I decided that I'm going to test out uh, or retest out uh, Node 32 by ESET. Um, reason being is that I haven't tested it in probably a year. Uh, somebody reminded me the last one I tested was version 4.0 and now they're on version 4.2 if I remember right yeah okay so it's uh, fully updated and stock installed stock from the factory um, what you're seeing here is that Windows isn't up to date so that's um, that's normal because I don't have any of the patches or anything for um, this Windows So we'll see if they uh, have improved their um, ability to prevent zero-day malware. That's where they used to suffer a lot in the last test I did. Um, they didn't have much of anything for zero-day malware going on. So we will see what they have now. These are fairly uh, new links. The is already kind of slow right now, which is kind of weird. Shouldn't be. Okay, that one's not working anymore, apparently. And neither is that one. Okay, that one got blocked. Okay, and that one was blocked. That one's not working. None of them are working anymore. That one was blocked. I'm going to have to get some more links. Okay, that one was blocked. This one's still waiting for something. Okay, and that one was blocked. So I'm going to go grab uh, about five more, four or five more links because a lot of them didn't work. So I will be right back. Okay, so I got some more links here. Let's see now. Hopefully some of these will work. Okay, that one was blocked. Okay, one more here. Okay, so 
Let's uh, now go ahead and we'll do a full system scan. And uh, so I'll set it up as a custom scan and then I'll do a uh, an in-depth scan. Let's see here do if I have any settings. I think I'm not going to mess with any of these. Um, most people will not mess with these, so I'm going to leave these on. I'm just going to do an in-depth scan on the C drive and memory, and I'll scan as administrator. Okay, so I'll be back when the scan is done. Okay, so the scan finished here, and it says it found nothing. It took about 12 minutes. So I'm going to grab my testing tools. I'm going to run CCleaner and then run Malwarebytes, and I'll be back when Malwarebytes is done scanning. Okay, so Malwarebytes finished scanning, and it didn't find anything. That's good to see. Uh, let's see, what do I want to use next? I'm going to use uh, Online Armor um, Cloud Scanner. I have to get a new version for it, and I'm going to scan with that. And when that's done, I will be back. Okay, so Online Armor finished scanning, and it didn't find anything. So last, uh, we're going to scan with Hitman Pro here, and we'll see if it finds anything. got an update so I'm going to let it update. I'm going to do a scan and I will be right back. Okay so Hitman Pro finished scanning and it didn't find anything of particular interest. That's just my uh, super anti-spyware that I have there. So it looks like with these links um, Note 32 ESET Smart Security um, did uh, pretty good. Didn't see any major problems. Uh, I caught everything. I'm sure, you know, of course we'd have to test with more links to really get a good overview, but um, did very well. Let's just see what kind of RAM usage we got here. Okay, uh, a little high. Um, using 50 megs here. Now, I don't feel a slowdown at the system, but I'm sure by now uh, they could have done something to bring that down from 50 megs to 15, 10. You know, it's just like they could have done something to improve that. Um, but what can you do? I didn't make the program. Uh, it's their program. so. But their competition has much less RAM usage and still at the same time being uh, a lot light, just as light on the computer. So they have a goal to bring this memory usage down. Um, other than that, hope you enjoyed the review. Um, that's it for tonight. I'll let everybody go and take care.